with Cover Up the Ugly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the fake nails. Um, over the years, I've tried some different techniques and different products, and what I'm going to share with you is uh, what I have found to work the best, at least for my nails. And I'll have links when they're available so that you can do the same method if you'd like also. So let's have fun. Thanks for watching. Here are the products I'm going to use in this video. Um, this is a nail file that I actually found in the hardware department. It's um, made by UXL. It's a diamond coated half round file. Should last forever. Um, for the cuticle pusher, I actually used this one in the video, but I don't know who made it because it was a free gift when I bought something else. So I can't recommend this one because I don't know where it came from. But this is a good one too. I bought a set of Equinox cuticle uh, trimming and pushing tools and those are good. And then this is my cuticle trimmer and the company that made this is Luxi or Luxie, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. None of these products are sponsoring me. I just found these to be useful and these are what I like so I thought I'd share it with you. I use Nail Tech Ridge Filler and Nail Tech Strengthener. These actually came in a set with um, some cuticle conditioner that I also love. It's uh, really good for the, the cuticles and I just kind of put it all over my hands when I'm done too. It feels nice and smells kind of coconutty. So those are good. And you know, scissors. Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. The gel kind, not the, the runnier stuff. And this is also made by UXL. This is the double-sided tape that I use. And these are the lint-free nail wipes. OPI makes them. They work great. All right, that's the stuff. So before putting any fake nails on, I trim my own nails, get them all tidy, fix the cuticles. Okay, so I'm done using these guys. I've got my nails all trimmed and as tidy as they can be, even though they're not in very good shape. <laughs> they're at least ready for some paint. I always start with a nail strengthener. I like this one. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much good it does because my nails are always in such bad shape. I can't really tell, but I always like to use this to give them their best chance. At survival anyway. So I'm gonna put a coat of this on and then I like to use a ridge filler to smooth out. I've got nasty little ridges here and some pits and weird stuff going on. This helps make a nice smooth surface for the fake nail to adhere to. Now I'm going to put on the ridge filler. And when this dries, they will be all ready for some fake nails. Here's what I use to put the fake nails on. Gorilla Glue, the gel kind. This is my favorite way to do it. Um, I had tried nail, fake nail glue, and then realized that it was the same ingredient that's in super glue, so I tried different super glues. And I like this one the best because it's easier to control than some others and it seems to last longer. Definitely want to shake it though before you use it. And I 
put on this two-sided sticky tape and I make it kind of sandwich between these two. Um, on the nail, after it's been painted with a protective layer of nail polish, I put a dot of glue, then a little bit of sticky tape, then another dot of glue, and then the fake nail. And that little kind of sticky sandwich allows for waterproof sticking and slight bit of movement. So when you hit your nails on something hard, they don't just pop off, which frequently they do when you have only this on. This allows for that slight bit of, it can move just a tiny bit, just enough to help keep them on a little bit longer. They do still pop off now and then, and it's easy to just put another dab of this on and put them right back on. Obviously when they start, start falling off too much, I just take them off and put a new set on or go without for a little while, very little while. I can't go very long, my poor little nails just don't last. Ugh. And this uh, a lint-free nail wipe is handy to have around to wipe up the extra glue that sometimes gets where you don't want it. You know, messes. I use tweezers uh, to deal with the tape just because it's sticky and next to the glue and it's easier to get it off of here than it is to get off of my fingers. And here's scissors to cut the tape. So first I will start with the tape. If I can find the end. Ah, there it is. Okay, this tape has an orange backing on it so that when you push it down onto a surface you then peel the backing off so it will stick to the whatever you're trying to stick it to. Oops. I'll have links when I have them available to buy all this stuff so you can do the same thing if you want. I have never really measured this. I probably should. Just cut off a piece about that long. And then just start cutting it into 10 little pieces, one for each fingernail. I like to hold them on the roll of tape while they're being, while they're waiting to be used. Whoops. Sticky, sticky. That's the idea though. Okay. They all come out a little bit different sizes, which is fine because each of my fingers are a different size. So I just pick the one that matches whichever finger I'm working on. Wow, that was a weird little. Oh, speaking of sticking to everything, be careful with this stuff. It will stick to everything. And it is easy to get where you don't want it. Um, I will admit I have glued my own fingers together accidentally. I glued one of my nails to a pant leg once because I had to pick up something that had dropped on the floor. There was, I don't know, there was an animal involved. I forget what happened but it was a near disaster. And so yeah, glued right to my leg. Okay, now we got 10 little pieces. Pardon my sniffing, it's allergy season. I'm enjoying the flowers though. Yay, okay. So, done with the scissors. Shake, shake, shake. Definitely wanna shake this stuff. And I have a protective layer, two layers actually, of nail polish. On my fingernails, you don't want to put this right on your nail. It will rip your nail up. Try to take it off. Tweezers, find a little skinny one. None of them are very skinny. Put that on. Ugh, this gets to be a little, little bit of a challenge on some of the fingers. There we go. And I like to hold, hold it down with the tweezers. All the glue is drying to the tape. Sometimes I dab at it with this to help push it down but also to wipe off any extra that oozed out onto my skin because ew. That's not fun. Sometimes you have to tap these on something to get the glue to the opening there. Okay, find another, that's a pretty big finger. 
You'll notice I'm using my other finger on the same hand to hold it. I know that looks really awkward. It takes a little practice. <laughs> or, you know, you can ask for an assistant. When my mom comes over to do nails, I always put them on her for her so she doesn't have to do all this weird bending around with your fingers or getting glue anywhere you don't want her. I like to get all the tape done on one hand and then we'll peel off the uh, backing. on my tweezers. Oh, the nice thing about uh, super glue on the tweezers is that you can easily clean the tweezers off with the, the nail file, at least the nail file I use. It's industrial grade diamond grit nail file that will take the glue right off of there so it doesn't get all glumpy and gross because it can build up after a while. Put a little more on my thumb. I've got gigantic thumbs. Okay. If you hold just one little corner down and then roll the tweezers out from under the tape, it's a good way to set it down. Sometimes if there's too much glue, it can make it too slippery and hard to put the tape down. So, you know, takes practice. And sometimes a little cursing and sometimes a mess. Okay, so all the tape is on this hand. And then I'm gonna take the tweezers and pull the backing off. It's hard to get separated from the tape. Sometimes it doesn't wanna do it. Also, it's just hard to grab because it's so skinny, very thin. You can see the tape there sticking up on my hand. That'll sandwich down when I push the nail on it with the other dot of glue. Oh, good grief. This one doesn't want to come off. Push it down. Holy moly. Ugh. Well, here. This is educational. This might happen to you. See how that whole edge wanted to come up? Instead of be sometimes it doesn't want to separate from the backing because of the super glue. Super glue got in there and glued it together. Okay, so there we go. All the tape is glued on. And then right on top of the tape, put another dot of glue. And it's good to have your fake nails standing by ready. I happen to have mine on my little photograph stand here. Let's see, which nail do I want? Pinky from this hand. Yeah, it's good to have them all loose and ready to go so that when you get your glue on, you can just grab it and put it on without messing around. Now some glue oozed out, so I want to wipe that up with this away from the nail. If you get super glue on your shiny nail, it makes it dull which you can fix with another top coat of clear gel polish, but it's better if you don't have to mess with it. So there's that one. Another nail. Make sure I have these in order. I think I mentioned this in another video, putting my nails on in the wrong order. I mean, most of the time it doesn't matter because they're just like this, solid, or not solid, but one single color. But sometimes I have patterns going or things with words on them. You gotta push pretty hard to get this glue to really stick. And when I'm done, I like to push on it, make sure they're stuck. Whoops. Okay, I'm almost done that one. Oh, I've gotten these on upside down before too. 
on the wrong nails, upside down. It happens. See the glue oozing out of there? I don't know if that's coming. Oh, I just stuck my finger to it. Wipe some of that off. Hold it down. There. Now back when I used to paint my own nails, it was so messy I was no good at getting the edges cleanly painted and they kind of looked awful. I have naturally dry skin and so anytime I tried to wipe something off my skin it just stuck everywhere and looked even worse. So that's another reason I like doing fake nails. This one has a bit of goof on the edge. Oh, you know what that's from? Uh, I hook, I put my nails on the museum putty while I'm working on them and sometimes a little edge will be sticking up when I'm painting on the nail and that will make it have little mistakes in it like that. I'm gonna let it go though and not worry about it because mostly it looks fine. Push down on all angles of the nail. Sometimes it's good to use two fingers. Push down on the sides too. There! So much better than this. Yay! Now I'll do the other one. Okay, I've got all ten of them done. They all feel pretty solid. And like I said before, if they pop off, you can just put a little another little dot of glue on there and put it back on. 